dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers in the South call you, Jesus. We just want to thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the ever delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you. Thank you for my family, my two beautiful, beautiful, strikingly handsome sons, Walker, Texas Ranger, or as we call them, TR. Of course, I want to thank you for my red hot smoking wife, Carly, who is a stone cold fox, who if you would rate her ass on 100, it would easily be a nine to four. I also want to thank you for my best friend and teammate, Kyle Newton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, we also thank you for my wife's father, Chip. We hope that you can use your baby Jesus powers to heal him and his horrendous, disgusting leg. It smells terrible, Lord God, just horrendous, awful. And the dogs are always bothering with it. Oh, dear tiny infant Jesus, dear tiny Jesus in your golden fleece diapers with your tiny little, little fat, balled up fists, dear eight pound, six ounce newborn baby Jesus, don't even know a word yet, just a little infant, so cuddly, still omnipotent, we just thank you for all the races I've won in the 21.2 million dollars love that money that i have acquired over this past season also due to a binding endorsement contract that stipulates i mentioned power rate at each grace i just want to say that power rate is delicious and it cools you off on a hot summer day we just look forward to power raids release of mystic mountain blueberry thank you for all your power and your grace, dear baby God. Amen. Oh, but there is. It colorfully outlines the sham that is organized religion. The walrus, with his girth and good nature, obviously refers to either the Buddha or, with his tusks, the Hindu elephant god, Lord Ganesha. This takes care of the Eastern religions. The carpenter is an obvious reference to Jesus Christ who is purportedly raised the son of a carpenter. He represents the Western religions. And in the poem, what do they do? They dupe all the oysters into following them. Then when the oysters collective guard is down, the walrus and the carpenter shuck and devour the oysters in mass. I don't know what that says to you, sister, but to me, it says that following faiths based on these mythological figures ensures the destruction of one's inner being. Organized religion destroys who we are or who we can be by inhibiting our actions and decisions out of fear of an intangible parent figure who shakes a finger at us from thousands of years ago and says, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> Leave this for the unenlightened. Poverty is for the gullible. It's another way the church is trying to control you. You take that money you've been collecting for your parish and you go and get yourself a nice piece of ass. You deserve it. 